couple minutes away from Springfield, New Jersey. You're gonna spend the day with Anthony Chaffee, a former safety at Rutgers. We're gonna collaborate on a lot of content. My father always tells me, you know, do you wanna sit under the apple tree or do you wanna go up and get an apple? Mm -hmm. You're gonna wait for it to fall in your mouth, you're gonna go get it. Third and 19. Got to know he's got a free safety who can track that thing. Choppy just waited for him. I was taught from a young age to never quit, never to be satisfied with um, what you've accomplished. You always want more, always be hungry for more. This is dope, man. I'm hyped, man. This is, it's going to be great. This is going to be amazing. We're going to sit down today and talk about some things, create some content. Going to be a cool day, uh, you know, collaborating on some things with Anthony Chaffee. So check it out right here. How you doing? Is, uh, is Anthony here? No. He's not? No. I'm supposed to meet him here. He's probably in the way. Cool. All right. We're good. So this is chill. Like, every time I do my podcast, mm -hmm. it's just like, anyone who doesn't know about you, maybe listen from different areas, whatever. Give mm -hmm. like the, the brief two minute Anthony Trophy bio. Um, small town kid with big aspirations to um, pursue something where it wasn't really destined for me. Yeah. Kind of something where I'm, you know, you get a kid who's working hard, puts his nose down and just wants to see stuff fruition through hard work and dedication mm -hmm. because it's the old fashioned way. And it's something where I was taught from a young age to never quit, never to be satisfied with um, what you've accomplished, to right. always want more, always be hungry for more. My father always tells me, you know, do you want to sit under the apple tree or do you want to go up and get an apple? Mm -hmm. You're going to wait for it to fall in your mouth. You're going to go get it. <laughs> it's something where I'm going to go like, get it i have to it's a, no matter what i do football mm -hmm. being a great human being aside right. from football because i'd rather have my character be something that lasts longer than my football career exactly. and that's yeah. i want respect for my name not only for football but for the character that i present it, it's cool to hear how much like your family roots play such a role right. in the like everything you say you know like doing it the old fashioned way like it's, it's, it's really cool and like refreshing to hear yeah. how much that, that has built you it's it's, it's cool. different it's, it's a different perspective because it's like for the grind for the money it's that that'll come with you know god first you work hard yeah. and everything will fall into place i don't have to you know i do my end yeah god's gonna do his, his end exactly. you know so i don't exactly. i don't really worry there's no time to worry because it's just taking time away from doing something that you could be doing to better yourself you know That's amazing. That's cool, that's, and that, that's a dope perspective. Like, that's going to be such a cool part of continuing to tell your story. Right. Is, like, having this family business behind you. And, like, it, it was cool just getting to know you at Rutgers. Like, right. you always had so, like, all of New Jersey behind you. Right, like, yeah. You, know, you, like, you had roots here for so long, and there's so many people right. working for you. Right. Yeah, they used to never want to see my town. I, I, I got them coming to the east side now. Where they at? In the city where I reside now. When they move a little weight at the D-line. Now, Running track or all running back. Gotta keep it moving, never running back. Never. We running the game and they running laps. That's another story for another track. See, from the sidelines, we gotta hustle cause we gotta eat. From the sidelines, we got some goals that we still gotta reach.